Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. We're gonna be talking about some new drugstore makeup in this video. I'm going to be applying the products. Um, it's not necessarily a full face. We definitely have some a lot of new lips, eyes, cheeks. I'm lacking a little bit on brand new complexion stuff. It's just not really the season for that. Does anybody ever notice that a lot of new foundations and stuff like that comes out like after the start of the new year? But anyway, we'll fill in the blanks, but we'll keep it all drugstore. And yeah, I'm excited to kick off this day. It's going to be a busy day. This morning, Pumpkin Spice goes in for her surgery. She's getting spayed. By evening, I've got a couple parent-teacher conferences, so it'll be a fun day. You know what primer I like, but I just, I hadn't used it a bunch here lately. It's the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to use that. Very creamy. It's just like all the ease that you kind of want with the putty primer, but just going on like a smooth, creamy liquid. To me, it feels like kind of a non-drying, slightly mattifying primer. And then maybe we'll pair with that our e.l.f. Soft Glam Foundation. So this I wear in the shade 25 Light Neutral. Really like the coverage of this. Um, I feel like I have to really treat it right to get the best staying power out of it. You know, make sure I set it. But it is a really pretty foundation. And I squeezed out what seemed like the equivalent of just a pump, <laughs> probably, and dabbing it on. That's what it seems like as I'm patching it around. And then I'm gonna use this little brush from the TikTok viral brush set that I reviewed. I really have been reaching for some of these quite frequently. Look at that pretty coverage and just the gentle, gentle glow that comes off the skin as you get it blended in. It's a pleasure. So how are you guys doing? What's going on in your world? Let me know in the comments section, like what's the latest? In case you were wondering who Pumpkin Spice is and you've missed a few videos, that's our new kitty that we took in. It's a stray cat that got real friendly with us for about a month and just couldn't turn her down. That really feels like the perfect amount of foundation. <laughs> Talking about product amounts a lot last week and rarely do I feel like I really need to exceed what feels like a standard pump's worth out of a foundation because not everything comes with a pump. Sometimes it's the squeeze tube, but you can eyeball it and kind of know about what that is. For my concealer, I'm gonna go with that concealer from the Pretty Smart line that's new at Walmart. I have 200 Light Neutral. I've been on such a roll with Revlon Color Stay Fresh Wear and kind of back and forth with Wet n Wild Incognito and also throwing in some Rimmel Multitasker. So I haven't gone to this one a bunch, but she's very light and brightening. And then I'm gonna use the double-ended one that I love for concealer, also from that uh, TikTok brush set. And smaller ends, just gonna spread it around. Larger end can buff it out a little bit. Who's coming in? She finally lost that tooth that was hanging by a thread. <laughs> oh yeah. Still spreading with the smaller side. And then this larger side, which isn't like huge, but the way that brush is cut, I love the way it just presses in. It fits that contour of the face so well. See that? Really nice blending. And also this pretty smart brand. Remember about this? This is created by the maker of the balm. I had a whole video on a bunch of things that were from this line and we talked similarities a little bit. I promise we're gonna come into some new stuff soon. I just gotta use uh, some liquid contour, whatever. I'm keeping with the pattern of not setting that under eye right away and coming in with the powder steps after. This is the contour wand from Physicians Formula. This is the fair light shade of it. Got that little dab thingy there. So we'll do some dots. I don't always trust all my products like this. So we'll dot it, blend it, and then move on to the cheeks. I haven't used it in a while. So she blended easily. Sorry for doubting you. I knew it was decent. I just, I didn't even twist up for fresh products. So I didn't know if what was sitting there had dried somewhat. It's really got that butter bronzer scent that the powder ones have. Buff, buff, buff. Hopefully that looks okay. I feel like it's just right, really, in tone, depth level. Can I tell you, Bub has been going to the gym every single morning, except weekend mornings, but like five days a week. He's a wake up early and go to the gym person now. He's got a friend doing it too, and he says that really helps, like knowing you're gonna meet somebody there. First sip of coffee, feeling. On to something new here from Catrice. We have a dual blush type of product here. So this is perfect for our blush layering. It's cream and powder. We've got this stunning strawberry shade. Got a more 
pinky color. Can you tell the difference? It's a little cooler. Um, pleasing pink. This one is called Absolute Apricot. Are you an apricot or an apricot person? And then Peach Passion, looking more dusty rose-ish. What do you think? One of the bright ones, probably? <laughs> yeah, I'll go with this cooler, brighter one, the one called Pleasing Pink. We'll do that. But also, there's this stick, pH Reactive Multi-Stick. It says, has a balm-like texture that melts seamlessly onto your skin or lips, providing a soft pink finish. I feel like maybe we should use that first, because it's so cool looking. Look at that. It's a little transparent dome. Use it on the lips. It's probably gonna stain the heck out of my lips. I just sense it. The immediate pinkness. Yeah, they can say they're customized all they want, but you know there's some kind of like set point where, yeah, this is gonna turn kind of pinky. So look how pink it just immediately is. Guys, it's not even close to wake up time. Oh, you're looking at what the Tooth Fairy brought? Okay, so it's just a cool pink. It's blending pretty easily. It was really smooth and slick to go across the skin. I actually do really like the color that that turned on my lips though. This is a $6 product and these blush affair things are $7. I've got a little PR thing. Yes, thank you Catrice. And they also sent some lip balm type products to tinted balms. We definitely want to try this. We'll do the cream step and then we come back around to setting the blush. I mean, this is going to be perfect for what I've been harping on lately with set your cream blush with a vibrant powder blush. But here's the cream side. See, cream side got a little stamped in texture. I'm gonna just dip in with my brush. See how bright it is. She's pretty bright and cool. It's not all that creamy like to put your finger into it. I don't know. I feel like my brush is blending it all right. It just has a firmness to it. It's the kind of thing I feel like you might struggle with if you were just swiping it on with fingertips, you know? Think about if you've tried a Milani cream blush and you put your finger into that and it's like wow really buttery creamy. These a firmness. Maybe that means it's gonna last really well, I don't know. It's certainly not overwhelming my skin with any kind of super emollient feeling right now, but let's keep it there for the initial go round and then we'll put the powder on top because we're layering. Right now we're gonna come in with setting powder. That's right, and an old dog learned a new trick and now she's doing her makeup differently. Again, if you haven't been here in a while, Check the video called Should You Be Wearing More Makeup? It wasn't just about product amount, but it was also about sequencing and layering. So now that I've done my cream steps, I'm going in with powders to set things. And I'm setting under eye, and I'm not doing quite as much as I did in that video because it was a bit much. I'm getting it on, and I'm kind of pressing it in, actually. Pressing it around the nose. I'm not, like, trying to cover up the blush. I'm trying to keep this in its lane, but set the key places that I know I need to set. Get off of there, hair. Okay, it feels smooth, not over dried. Can deal with that. Then we set bronzer. I pulled out L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer in the shade medium. Let's get a little bit of that on my BK Beauty 107 brush. And we're gonna hit pretty much everywhere where we contoured. So down in here, setting it all. Why have I stuck with this technique? Well, my makeup lasts really well and I've noticed a difference with the color products on my skin. Like a lot of times I'll feel like, yeah, my foundation's still there, it's still looking good, especially if I'm using like a, a favorite foundation like Rimmel Lasting Finish or Wet n Wild Photo Focus. But incorporating the layering technique, I'm like, my blush is still really there. My bronzer's still fully there. So that's kind of nice to see without having to touch it up. I wouldn't be too careful with it, but just got it on there. See what the powder blush is like in here. Again, this is called Blush Affair cream and powder blush. I really want to do my nails. I've got to sit down. Maybe tonight's the night. I get out my little gel nail kit and I find a nice fall rich color and just get after it. This looks matte to me. What's over here? I can clearly see it on the brush. Mm-hmm. One of these could be a great, like, intro to blush layering product. If maybe you don't even own a lot of different blushes, different textures, and you just want a couple things that would layer nicely, they've definitely set you up for it here. I love the pigment level. Strongly pigmented. Probably the brightest one in the mix. Mm-hmm. Exciting. Another thing, while I use a little less um, setting powder, I feel like, than Shelby Ann, I do like kind of hitting the whole face with more of an hourglass type powder or just like a really light setting powder over top of all of this. We need to highlight. I guess I can grab for one of my newest highlights. This is another step that she had left out because 
I don't know, I think she was going for makeup that would photograph well, wouldn't look too shiny, so yeah, understandable. Wedding day makeup, maybe you leave off some highlight. But for my day-to-day, -day, I definitely like some, so. Icy Gold, L'Oreal Infallible, it's a really pretty texture. Not the only good texture from the drugstore, though. Just a newer one that I like, but you could save money by checking out the highlighters from Hard Candy or, um, what's another good one? Oh, Wet n Wild, like the Precious Petals one that's been around a long time. That's very pretty. You know, we're getting a little glow. Glow it up on the Cupid's bow for a second. And then over top of the whole shebang, here's where I might take just a little light brush. This is again from that viral set. I'm going to just use a little Rimmel Stay Matte, okay? It doesn't matter so much what you use, just so long as it's a light amount. And just set all over. It's a visually kind of perfecting step and just kind of blurring it all, making it look good. Okay, and we're this far in and you only had a couple new things to show. Sorry, I still don't have any new brow stuff either. This is Milani Precision Brow. We do have a new eyeshadow palette though. Precision Brow in the shade Espresso. I'm just trying to plow through the brow products I have. And this is one of them and it works fine. It's a good tone for me, but I couldn't say, hey, this is the most amazing one. The one that's really bringing some uniqueness for me is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Nano because it's even finer than this pencil and somehow it gets my brows done the quickest because it's just so good at getting in there within my fairly thick bunch of hairs that I have. It really gets in there to those certain places where I need the fill in. But this is still pretty good. I mentioned Bub's workouts. Well, I am still working out. I've stuck with my pattern when we did the 75 or 60, what was it? 60 semi-hard? I was working out two times a day in the morning and in the evening. I've kept that ever since. I go between Grow With Joe workouts or Fitness Marshall and now I can count on Tuesday nights when I go to my dance class, I can count that as a workout. Thank you, Miss Hillary. Those have been working my legs in some new ways. And when I was like growing up in high school and trying to pick up on dances, like I remember being at UCA camp, granted you were inundated with material and they would teach you like, you know, three new dances in one day and a bunch of new cheers and all this stuff. And my head would be spinning at the end of the day. And I try to go home and like write down and practice all the counts to everything. So I could go back the next day, like knowing it better. But I think picking up on moves and like learning new choreography is just a skill in itself. And I'm proud of myself because I feel like I've been learning what Miss Hillary's been teaching pretty well. And for several months now, I've been doing like the fitness martial dances and that forces you to like pick something up kind of quick. And I feel like those are good practice for picking up choreography. I'm gonna use Control Freak. Oh no, something just fell over downstairs. Racing and chasing of the kitties. 5.30 in the morning, yep, it's their time. It's their time to do things like that. Yeah, pumpkin spice is going to be a little slowed down. From what I recall, the other kitty's getting spayed. There's going to be a cone that's going to need to be worn for a while after this procedure. For the eyes, for the eyes, Bratz doll palette. <laughs> Who saw this coming? Nobody? Okay, ColourPop. On my doorstep one fine day last week, I open it up and it's a Bratz doll palette. Now, Bratz dolls came out kind of after my prime of Barbie playing. Like, my main toys growing up that I loved so much. Barbies, Polly Pockets. Like, top two, no question. Throw My Little Ponies up in there, but they were kind of playing with the Barbies. They were pets of the Barbies. When my Barbie needed to have a farm, you know, they were the animals. Anyways, I never really played with Bratz dolls, but I so respect the glamour going on here. There's an eyeshadow palette, and there are multiple Bratz uh, lip combos. Some people who I guess are a little younger than me might be watching this and getting really nostalgic right now for these certain dolls. I don't know who like the, the icons were, who was the doll everyone wanted, but this is what they're looking like. Oh, I love this one right here. Yes. There's a couple body glitters that came out. We've got a plumping gloss. We've got liquid liners. I probably should use one of those lip combos today, and we'll talk about the tinted balms from Catrice probably in another video because I have some tinted balms from Essence as well and maybe tinted balms will have a moment in a video all their own coming up but <laughs> I consider ColourPop drugstore price range overall uh, this is what it looks like though take a gander yep if the person reviewing the Bratz doll palette just told you to take a gander at it you know she's legit shimmers shimmers all up in here these four these three and this one. And then high contrast with those dark shades. I mean, look at their eyes. Is this parent-teacher conference makeup or what? <laughs> oh, 
um, just let me live my life and use my Brad Stahl spell. <laughs> It'll be a fun conversation topic if it turns out too wild. I'm gonna try to make this really wearable for me today and maybe do some future looks that I'll show you like just in Instagram stories and stuff. So I'm gonna go to the shade called Dump Him. It's right here. It's matte. It's dusty rose. It feels safe. Wait, I didn't put on eyeshadow primer. I'm getting too carried away. And now I have just a splotch of that. Eh. Rub it away, rub it away. Sorry, friends. Did anyone else remember out there? Somebody was screaming at the video, no, stop. We will always prime the lids. I wanna know the tea on Brad's dolls, though. Like, tell me, what were they known to be? Were they known to be like the sassier take on a Barbie? Clearly, their heads are bigger, their eyes are bigger, their lips are bigger, they're just more is more. Like I said, I never owned one, but I knew of them. They just came a little after my time. I think they were coming out in my high school years. Are they like LOL dolls of the past? Are they the mother of LOL? It's like my girls have some of those little LOL dolls. And we're just blending. It's actually a really nice fit with the little hoodie I'm wearing. See, thing about ColourPop, I really like ColourPop shadows. You just never know what they're gonna do with collections. And the detail here, like there's so much detail on that. And the little individual lip combos with the dolls on there, like the nostalgia some people must be experiencing is probably at a very high level with this collection. I want a Polly Pocket collection, ColourPop. Think how cute it could be with compacts, you know? It's all about compacts. All right, I have nothing like non-shimmery and lighter than this, so we're just gonna blend that till she can't blend no mo. Something deeper, something richer. Let's use a little bit of this Yasmin shade. Yasmin, whoa! Oh gosh, I didn't break anything, don't worry. Yasmin, right here. It's got like a soft bit of sheen. Soft shimmer, but it seems overall matte. She's really soft too. Um, Yasmin must have been an icon. Um, just like seeing what that does, layering in. I don't know. It's making it a little bit cooler, the whole look of things. Not really darkening it. It's pretty much on the level of what I already applied. Just doing a little cool layering. Blending. We've got to come in with some darkness. Again, how can we make it kind of wearable? Flat brush. We have near black. We have pure black. We have black brown with shimmer. We have dark teal and plum. I'm wanting the plum called Steppin' Out. I just want to see if it turns out to be really nice and dark or pinky. Cause you know how some of these shades go on looking like a pink? Oh, pretty true to color. If I'm really going for Bratz doll, there has to be at least some outer V. Maybe I should go full on Bratz doll for Halloween. I love this color. We're flipping brush, we're pulling up, we're making more of it. You know what I really just want right now is some popcorn. We've started watching Gilmore Girls. Okay, so in the evenings we watch a show with the girls. Ugga goes to bed and the girls have like another hour to stay up. This is my small pointed brush. I'm just going to begin blending with nothing else added. And for the last couple months we were just browsing like what do we want to watch we kind of fell off of the waltons a little bit we'll probably return to waltons um before the waltons we completely went through little house on the prairie and i think it was just kind of hard because we just didn't love the waltons quite as much as little house on the prairie but i could have kept going myself but they're like we want to watch something else so um, we found Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Belle and Biddy, they just loved that. They love that cat Salem that talks. I only, like, kinda watched that show growing up. Blending, blending. Yeah? Check with me later. Really just fading out this purple. It can go a long way. I haven't added anything to my brush yet, but what was I saying? Oh, they were watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch. They finished what was available from that. And now we've moved on to Gilmore Girls. And Bub and I had started watching Gilmore Girls like back around the time Belle was born. It's a great show to start watching in the fall, but I don't think we actually finished it all up. And it all feels new to me now, probably because I was so sleep deprived at the time of having my firstborn. I don't remember anything that's going on. It all feels new. I remember some key moments, but it's like, Wow. The girls are really loving it. Um, it's good. But last night Lorelai had like a bowl of delicious looking popcorn and it just made me want popcorn 
from that moment on, but I didn't have any. See how this is going? We're just blending and blending and blending. And now, what if we took a little black and made it even darker on the outer corner? Two nights the night, but they spelled tonight with a number two. Total black matte. Let's see how she does. Just in the outermost, full on. ColourPop can go there, and they did. They have some real pigment going on. Ooh, we're going just right for the outer corner. Please make sure you're telling me all your Bratz doll stories in the comments. Blendy blend. Oh, I'm so enjoying these dark shades merging together, this dark plumminess. I love it. One thing I might do with my crease brush is go in to dump him just real quick and kind of let that continue to be present on the edge. Mm rich. That's rich. We need some shimmer. We need some sparkle going on in this. There's one called Girls Night Out right here. Seeming softer than I thought. More glazy. She's iconic up here. That's got a little blue shift. Very frosty. What about Sasha? That one's called Sasha. It's very gold. I'm thinking let's go in with some gold. Some golden sparkle. Sasha. See how it picks up on a brush because it looks pretty sparkly. Oh wow. It's like a fine glitter. Doesn't seem like it's laying down as well on this eye. Maybe I need to use my finger. If my face is covered in glitter at parent-teacher conferences, now we know why. Oh, it's fine guys. It was just the Bratz doll look my 40-year-old self was trying to complete this morning at around 5 a.m. Everyone will get it, right? Okay, I'm gonna take Yasmin. Yasmin's gonna come in and be right here go from the plum into the shimmer. I don't know. Why not? This feels like a real anything goes type of palette. Hi Rosie. Yeah, you missed the girls. They already went downstairs. Anything goes. Maybe we go back to Sasha. Sasha must have been another icon. And just let it just sprinkle on top there. Seeing it? Are we liking what we see? Like I said, there's a couple of liners, so let's see what they are. Bratz Doll Liquid Liner in Super Stylin'. Okay, it's hot pink. That doesn't seem very defining. What's this one? 2001. <laughs> oh, the year Bub and I started going out. There's that. I just want some definition. I'm not in the mood to get artsy with it right now. I'm just gonna use the black shade of the Lawless Liner Pen because that's what I have handy right now. And the clock is ticking on the look. Yeah, we gotta have a little clean definition on a wild eye like this. I'm not even winging it, because I just feel like the eyeshadow winged itself enough. Rosie's more my shy cat around people, but she's hanging around with Pumpkin Spice more. I think she's my more streetwise cat. Biscuits really likes people. She's m more sensitive with this whole cat situation. Let's do some Maybelline Firework Mascara on this. What about the lower lash line? What do the Bratz dolls do? It's defined, but really everything's kind of up above. Everything's really lifted with their look. Maybe this is my chance to do less. Rosie, she's just napping, hun. She's not a threat. She's not even wanting to play. To make it really legit, I'd need some false lashes probably thrown on. I only have two out of three parent-teacher conferences today. Rhett's parent-teacher conference will come next week. Just layering and coating it up. This is coating well. I like this mascara when it was fresh and new, but it's doing really good now. And this purple and gold, by the way, what a great look for my LSU fans. Also, when I was growing up in junior high and high school, purple and gold. I would have liked this. If only I could have had a palette this fabulous looking, you know, back in those times. Would have had such a good time for like getting ready for dances and stuff. Hey, Biddy. Hi. What's up? What did you get from the Tooth Fairy? I got a piggy named Leonardo. Leonardo? Oh, he's so cute. And then I got <laughs> a Reva. Reva? Is this a troll? Yes. Her name's Viva. Oh, Viva. Whoa! And. Oh, that's cute, Betty. Oh, and I got five dollars. And I'm sharing some with my sister. That's so nice of you, hon. You enjoy. Have Bye. fun. The Tooth Fairy might have found some things marked down to a dollar in the Walmart toy section about a month ago. We're still rolling on the coats. This has been fun. All that matters, just have fun.
Okay. And I have some fallout. Yes, I do. So I'll just take my little fallout brush and dust it away. Now's the time that we're going to pick a lip combo. Do we want brown? Do we want deep red? Do we want this kind of berry look? That must be kind of the pink. This is a really hard decision. Oh, it's Yasmin. Oh yes, we use the Yasmin eyeshadow. I'm going to use that and then I'm going to pull out this So Juicy Plumping Gloss. So the sets come with a lippy pencil and a lippy sticks. I love the lippy sticks. I haven't used one of these in a while, but they're like a slim design. And this is called Pretty Princess, the liner. We've got a little bit of a stain on our lips from the Catrice thing, but I don't think it's going to matter ultimately. Deep, like brownish mauve. Bratz dolls have like huge lips. These are gliding on so nicely. There's our liner. And look how they even put like little rhinestones up on there. Like everything was so thoughtfully done. And then Pretty Princess is also the name of this. Yes, I may have experimented with this shade before. I like that these are like creamy, they're not matte. They're really creamy. This is kind of like a satin finish. See the sheen? Oh yeah. Mauve, mauve, mauve. This is in the shade Girls Rule, the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. It's pretty much clear. What does it even smell like? A little bit minty maybe? I can't even tell. Just a little sweet. Definitely giving some shine. I'm not feeling any immediate burn or sting. Oh my gosh, they've got like stars floating in that. I'm not going to end this video till that shows on camera. See the stars within? The glitter stars? Ah! One thing about me is I'm a child at heart. That's what the hair's giving us today. Thoughts? Really, this feels good to me. I'm in a good place with this look. <laughs> I don't feel weird about it at all. I mean, yeah, there's some glitter going on, but that's fine. Overall, as far as new stuff goes, I'm not huge on that little pH adjusting stick from Catrice, but I really like the idea of those cream and powder blush duos. They really lend themselves to the concept I'm trying to work into my routine a lot, and it seemed like the shades were nicely varied, and I just look forward to wearing those more. As far as the Bratz palette, I mean, this is a very novelty feeling, you know, makeup product. I look at the shades inside, and it's just very glitzy. It's very high contrast. You know, the dark are super dark and then we've got a lot of glitz and shimmer. You know if that's something you're into or you need. To me it's just fun um, and it does encourage me to have more fun with my makeup which is always a plus. The thing I think I like best about that whole Bratz collection are the lip combos. Really creamy liners. I like the lippy sticks that coordinate and go on top. Those are really fun. And even though there's like a Bratz doll on the box, I feel like all the shades, like the rich red, you know, there's a more pinky one, a brownish one. I would enjoy all of those colors. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and had some fun with me today, and I will see you in the next one. I love you. Bye.